In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build a WhatsApp chatbot with N810 that can answer to questions from a knowledge base. And to demonstrate how it works, I'm going to build it for hotels. So it will act as a hotel receptionist, but you can do it for any kind of businesses, for example, medical clinics or personal trainers. I created this knowledge base, which will answer to questions about a hotel. And I'm going to use this document to retrieve information from the database. And I'm going to feed this to the chatbot, which will answer to questions for customers. So I have WhatsApp open, so I'm going to say hello. And it should answer after a few seconds. At the first message, it will always ask, how can it help us? So I'm going to ask, what is the check in and check out time? And it should get all the information from the knowledge base. You can see that it provided us an answer, which is the check in time is from 3 p.m. and the check out time is until 11 a.m. And let's check if it got the information correctly. So let's find the check in and check out times. You can see that we have the information. Let's ask something else. For example, is the pool warm? You can see that it also provided an answer, which is yes, the pool is heated and the temperature is controlled year round. And the interesting thing is that the question in the knowledge base is, is the pool heated? But I asked, is the pool warm? So the keywords doesn't have to match. And for this, we are going to use a vector database because we are not limited by searching with a specific keyword. So let's start building it. I'm going to open an A10 and let's create a new workflow. And this will be the workflow that will feed the knowledge base into our vector database. So I'm going to call it feed database. And for the first step, I'm going to add the trigger, which will be triggered manually. And the second node will be a Google Drive node because I'm going to upload the knowledge base to my Google Drive. So let's find drive. And we need to find download file. You need to authenticate your Google account. I already did it with mine, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So you need to click on create new credential. And you can see that you cannot directly log in with your Google account. And what you need to do is let's open the docs. And we need to open the Google Cloud and let's go to the console. And once you're here, you need to click on APIs and services. Then click on enable APIs and services. And here you need to find Google Drive. And you can click on it. And then when you're here, you need to enable this API. I already did it on my account. So I'm just going to go back and let's go back again. One more. And the next thing you have to do here is go to credentials and click on create new credentials. And I'm going to select OAuth. Here you need to select web application and you can see the authorized redirect URLs. Let's go back to N810 and you need to copy this all with redirect URL and you just need to paste it here. Then you can click on create and then you will see the client ID and the client secret. So let's copy these values and let's paste it in N810. Let's also get the client secret. And I'm going to call it Google Drive account 2. And you can just click on save. And once you did that, a button will appear. And if you click on it, you can authenticate your account. So the next thing we have to do is you need to select your file from your Google Drive. I'm going to select my account and let's select the knowledge base. Mine is called Azure. And now we can close this. And next we need to add the Superbase vector database because this is where we will store the knowledge base. So let's find Superbase vector store and let's click on add documents to vector store. And you also need to connect your Superbase account to this node. Let's go to Superbase and let's click on new project. And let's give a name for the project. I'm going to call it NA10 hotel chatbot. You also need to provide a password for the database. So let's provide a password. And then you need to select your region. I'm going to keep it West EU. And once you have that, you can click on create new project. And once you have the project, you can go to the SQL editor. 
and you need to click on new SQL snippet. And let's go back to NA10 and let's click on create new credential and let's open the documentation. And here let's click on Superbase Vector Store and let's scroll down a little bit and let's click on Quick Start for setting up your Vector Store. And here we can copy this SQL code and this will create a table for us where we can keep our knowledge base. So let's just copy this and let's go back to Superbase and you can just paste the code here and let's click on Run. If you see success no rows returned, then it means that your database has been successfully created. So let's go to the table editor and you can see that a document table appeared. So once you have the database, I'm going to select documents. If you want to call it something else, obviously you need to select that. And now we can close this and let's click on embeddings and let's use the embeddings open AI. And you can close this and for the document let's select default data loader and here you need to select binary because the document that you download from google drive will be a binary file and for the text splitting let's select custom let's close this and let's add the text splitter and here i'm going to select recursive character text splitter and you can just close this and once you have that, you can click on save and let's run the workflow. And if you did everything right, it uploaded the document to your vector database. So now we can use it for the chatbot. Next, we can start working on the chatbot workflow. So let's create a new one. I'm going to call it N8 and Hotel Chatbot. And for the first step, I'm going to add an on chat message node. And we are going to use this to communicate with the chatbot until we integrate WhatsApp. So let's open the chat and let's say hello. Let's add the second node, which will be an edit fields node. And let's click on this and let's add the session ID. And for the value, let's provide the session ID. We can close this. And for the next node, let's add an AI agent. And let's add an option and I'm going to select system message. And I'm just going to say your task is to retrieve information about the hotel from the knowledge base. And let's provide some guidelines. And for the first one, let's say do not dump all the information at once let's also add ask the user how can you help if you are greeted with a hello and let's add one more which is only answer to the questions and let's also switch this to define below and let's execute the previous nodes. I'm going to say hello. And here I'm going to add the user's message. And let's select the chat input. Now we can close this. Let's add the chat model. I'm going to use OpenAI chat model. And we can also add the memory. So let's select simple memory. And let's add the tool which will be a super base vector store. And here you also need to select your super base account. And for the description, let's say this tool's purpose is to retrieve information for guests from the knowledge base. And let's select your table, which will be documents in my case. And now we can close this. Let's add an embeddings, which will be embeddings OpenAI. Let's close this. And basically this is it. So let's test it. And let's ask something, for example, what time is the checkout? You can see that it queried the database. 
and it answered with the correct information. So the next thing we have to do is integrate WhatsApp so we can use it to send messages and also receive messages. And to set it up, the first thing we have to do is go to business.facebook.com. Here you need to create a business profile. I already have a business profile, so I'm going to select one. And once you have that, you can go to settings, then go to apps, and let's add the new app. It will ask what you want to do. We can click on create a new app ID. And let's give a name to the app. I'm going to call it NA10 chatbot. Then click on next. And it will ask for options to add use cases. So here we can go to the other. Then click on next. It will also ask for a type. So let's select business and let's create a new app. It will ask for my password. And once the app is created, you can see the option to add a few apps. We can add Messenger, Instagram, WhatsApp, and all these apps. But for our case, we want to add WhatsApp. So let's click on Setup. Here we need to select a business account. So I'm going to select one. Then you can click on Continue. And now we enabled WhatsApp. So let's go back to an item and let's switch the receive chat message node to WhatsApp. So I'm going to add, I'm going to delete this now and add the WhatsApp node. So what we need to select here is WhatsApp business cloud. And for the trigger, we need to select on messages and you need to authenticate your WhatsApp account. So let's select create new credential. I'm going to call it WhatsApp Opt account 2 is good. So it will require a client ID and a client secret. So let's get them. Let's go back to Meta Business and let's click on App Settings and select Basic. And here you can find your app ID and also your app secret. So let's copy the app ID and this will be the client ID. And the client secret will be your app secret. So let's also copy this value. And once you have that, you can click on save. And if the connection was successful, it will say connection tested successfully. So now the workflow can be triggered when you send a message to the WhatsApp number. And there's one more thing we need to add here, which is receive message status updates. And what we need to do is just delete all. If you don't do this, the workflow will be triggered on these events. For example, when the message is delivered or read or sent and we don't want to have that we only want to trigger a workflow when it receives a message so now we can close this and let's connect it with the edit fields node and we can also test this out so let's click on save and let's activate the workflow and let's get the phone number that we can use to test it out so let's go back to the meta dashboard and let's open up whatsapp and select api setup and once you open it, you can scroll down a little bit and here you will see the phone number that you can use. So I'm going to go back to WhatsApp and say hello. And let's go back to N810 and see if the workflow has been triggered. We can see that it triggered the workflow, so it's working. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these values so I can pin it. I'm going to pin this and click on save. And now we can use the phone number for the session ID. So let's select the messages from, and I'm going to drag this here. The next thing we have to do is set up the node that will answer to the message. So let's click on the plus button after the AI agent and let's select WhatsApp business cloud. And what we need here is send message. And to set this up, we cannot use the account that we authenticated earlier. We need to use a different one. So we need to get different credentials as well. And to do it, let's click on create new credentials. And you can see that it requires an access token and a business account ID. And to do this, let's go back to Meta Business. And once you're here, let's open up the system users. And let's add the system user. We need to add the system username. So I'm going to say admin. And you need to select admin here. And once you have that, let's click on create system user. And once you created the system user, let's scroll down a little bit and let's click on assign assets. 
And here let's select the apps. And I'm going to select N8 and chatbot. And we need to turn on the full control. And once we have that, let's click on assign assets. Let's close this. And now we created a system user. So let's click on generate token. And here we need to select the N8 and chatbot, which is the app that we created. And let's go next. Token expiration, you can set up 60 days, but I'm going to set this to never. For the permissions, we need to add two permissions. And the first one will be WhatsApp business management. And the second one is WhatsApp business messaging. Then we can click on generate token. And now we can use this token to authenticate. So let's copy this. And I'm going to paste it to an item. And the other thing we will need is the business account ID. And to get that, we need to go back to the meta dashboard. So it's not the business facebook.com, it's the developers.facebook.com, which is weird that we need to juggle between two different platforms, but it is what it is. So once you're here, you need to go to WhatsApp API setup, and here you will see your business account ID. And you can copy this and let's paste it here. And you can click on save now. You can see that the connection was successful. So let's close this. And I've seen it at many other tutorials that they come here and generate an access token here. But the problem with that is that it only valid for a short period of time. When I tried it, it expired within one day. And it's not great if you need to come back every day and generate a new access token. You ideally want to have one access token that you can use for multiple months. So this is why we went to Meta Business and did it like this. And I haven't seen this at the other WhatsApp tutorials. So I think it's really useful to know about this. So we created the connection between N8 and WhatsApp. And here we have the option to select the phone number. So I'm going to select my test number and we can also select the recipient's phone number. And for that, let's open up the WhatsApp trigger and let's drag the from number. It says it can get the data for expression, but it will work when we will try it. And for the text body, I'm going to select the output from the AI agent. And now I'm going to close this and let's click on save. And I'm going to go back to WhatsApp and test it out. So let's say hello. Let's see if it will answer. It looks like something is not good. So let's go back to NATM. And it seems like there was an issue, which is with the AI agent. It looks like we forgot to change the user's message. So I'm going to delete this and get the user's message from the WhatsApp trigger. And you can find it here under messages, text and body. And let's click on save. And now it should work. So let's go back to WhatsApp. And let's see if it will answer. Yes, it answered. So let's ask something. For example, is there anything for children? And we see that it got the correct information from the knowledge base. So it says that the hotel mainly caters to adults, but they do offer family friendly excursions for children upon request. And let's see what the knowledge base says about this. Here it is. Are there any activities for kids? While we cater mainly to adults, we offer family friendly excursions on requests. So everything works as it should. So this is how we set up a WhatsApp chatbot using N8. I think it's super simple. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.